The next pre-launch rehearsal before launch of our Artemis 1 moon mission, news about some NASA astronomy missions, and a critical milestone for an Earth-observing satellite. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. NASA is targeting June 18th for the start of the next wet dress rehearsal test with our Space Launch System rocket and Orion spacecraft at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The rehearsal is the final test needed before the launch of the uncrewed Artemis 1 mission around the moon. The test includes an approximately two-day countdown, during which the launch teams will practice the operations, timelines, and procedures that they will follow for the actual launch. For updates, follow along on NASA's Artemis blog at blogs.nasa.gov Artemis. News about NASA missions at the 240th meeting of the American Astronomical Society included astronomers using data from our Hubble Space Telescope and other NASA observatories to see for the first time a dead star called a white dwarf consuming both rocky metallic and icy material, the ingredients of planets. This instance of cosmic cannibalism can help astronomers learn more about the makeup of newly forming systems. Also discussed, the potential of NASA's Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope. The telescope's unprecedented field of view will make it possible to study stellar streams in a large number of galaxies for the first time. Astronomers can use these observations to better understand how galaxies grow and the nature of dark matter. The Joint Polar Satellite System 2 satellite, or JPSS-2, that NASA is building for the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration recently completed its thermal vacuum testing. The critical test is meant to show that the spacecraft and its instruments can perform successfully in the harsh environment of space. JPSS-2 is targeted for launch November 1st from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. The satellite will provide data to help improve our understanding of extreme weather and climate change. NASA's Low Earth Orbit Flight Test of an Inflatable Decelerator, or LOFTED, will ride to space on the JPSS-2 launch as a secondary payload. LOFTED is a demonstration of a hypersonic inflatable aeroshell shell that could one day help land humans on Mars. Our Langley Research Center in Hampton, Virginia, recently hosted an event for the media to learn more about the technology. Following its launch to low Earth orbit, LOFTED will inflate and descend back to Earth to demonstrate how it can slow down a spacecraft and help it survive the trip down through a planet's atmosphere. Congratulations to former NASA astronauts Dave Leitzma, Sandy Magnus, and Chris Ferguson. They are the newest inductees to the U.S. Astronaut Hall of Fame. They were inducted as the Hall of Fame's Class of 2022 during a June 11th ceremony at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov twan.